Okay, I updated my uh, LED, uh, brake lights to LED, and I got errors on it. As you can see over here, I got the, the check left, right, uh, left brake bulb and the right one after I upgraded to LED. That's because uh, due to the low voltage that is being sucked in by the, by the new LED bulbs, uh, the computer thinks that the LED bulbs are out. So therefore, we need to add a resistor so that uh, the computer thinks that the bulbs are there. So I'm going to walk you through how to add the resistors to the LED bulbs that I added in my other video. So I have links to the previous video as well as the uh, adding the adding the resistors uh, of this video. So I bought these of Amazon. There's a picture of it uh, in, in here, as you can see. Uh, you can get them from pretty much anywhere else. They do come with these uh, clips, which are horrible. So I am I bought these other clips separately. These are called T-taps, and basically the uh, wire that is complete, you put you put the alligator clips on. I'm sorry, not the alligator, but you put the um, the complete one, and then you put these T ones into uh, into it and connect it. So I'll just show you. So basically, you crimp uh, these T to the open wire and then you just insert them in. Makes it easy to put them on and also makes it easy to take them off. So first what we need to do is to crimp the wire into this uh, T-tap. Um, maybe I should have opened it up more, given it more lead, um, but anyway, it's um, pretty straightforward. Uh, just make sure it's inserted all the way and then when you look inside, you wanna make sure you can see the wire touching the metal pin. And then take some big pliers. Uh, I have a wise grip, um, sorry, vise grip that I used to um, squeeze down and and uh, really hold it in tight and crimp it. Um, so something like that will work. And and just to, after you do it, just test to make sure that it that the wire does not come out. Um, you know, I, I bought like a hundred of these for like six bucks or something like that off of Amazon. I really can't speak to the quality of it. Generally, 3M makes very good ones, uh, but they're a little bit more money. Uh, but I just bought a handful, and um, you know, I'm using them. So just make sure that they you know, tug on it to make sure that it works. So now I'm going to insert it into my left brake bulb, right? So you basically move this cover by pulling it out towards you and then lifting it up. So this way, it's out of the uh, out of the plastic grooves that's holding it in. And uh, once you lift it up, uh, the brake one is the one all the way in the bottom. Uh, so in the other video, I, I installed the Sylvania LED bulbs that are very nice, and then they reflect. So this is the Sylvania bulbs um, that light up backwards, so they reflect off the housing. There's a mirror housing in in these uh, in in these cars. So basically, those are the two uh, wires uh, that we're going to connect. We're going to connect the resistors in parallel. Um, so basically, you put one of the um, uh, one of the T-taps onto the uh, black wire, one of these, and then the yellow one onto the uh, um, onto the yellow wire, and then yeah, and then you connect uh, these together. So it's very straightforward. It's a lot easier than the other red clips that the resistors came with. Um, so it, it it's just a lot easier. So basically you squeeze it, hold it, and again, um, I am going to be using my pliers to uh, squeeze it in. You don't need a vise grip for this. I think just regular pliers will do. And then it'll lock in place. Um, ideally, you should be able to do it without locking it in place, but I don't trust it. Uh, uh, I mean, ideally you should be able to do it without using pliers, but I don't trust it. So I am gonna use the pliers uh, to put it in. Um, because I'm right-handed, the left side is pretty easy, but the other side, um, the right side, is, is difficult. So once you're done, you uh, squeeze it, and then it's just a matter of connecting the T-taps, which is very easy. Be careful while you're doing this that you don't break the wire that the bulb is connected to. As you can see in mine, it looks like it's fragile. It looks like it's almost coming off. The other thing that I want to say is that the res the resistors uh, get very hot, so you want to secure them. Um, I showed in the in the next one, but you want to secure them so that they don't touch anything else that could catch on fire. Um, that you put them somewhere so that uh, you know again something metal so that they don't um, you know cause uh, cause a fire in your in your truck. So the next step here is I'm going to turn it on and, and you're going to see that the left one 
Uh, it says, you know, I don't, I will not get an error message for the left one, but I will get a message for the right one. So I'm turning on the car. It takes a while. I press on the brake. Uh, it takes a while for it to register, and uh, you will only see an error message for the right, say only the right Blake, right Blake brake, sorry, lamp, but not the left one. So now I am going to go back and do the right one. Um, again, um, the process is pretty straightforward. You just crimp uh, the wires, and here it is on the. Um, uh, this is the right side. Tug towards you and lift up. Um, pretty easy. Just take some wiggling. Uh, don't don't force it. Just wiggle it out. I think if you force it, you may break something. But uh, just wiggle it out. And it's these tabs that are that hold it in place. And now uh, when you look inside the uh, the um, housing, uh, there's the bulb. Uh, just twist. And again, it's the same black and yellow wires that they connect into. Um, because I'm right-handed, it was kind of difficult to to insert these um, plugs, uh, but I ended up uh, doing them slowly. It may take uh, a few tries, um, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, uh, uh, the LED bulbs I'm using are Sylvania bulbs. Uh, I'm going to link uh, in the video as well as the description to the bulbs. Um, and also the resistors, I will link a, a description to that. Um, anyway, uh, there's one, and then we'll do the other one. Apologize, my arm and hands are in the way of the camera. I couldn't put the camera in another location. Um, again, using the pliers to um, squeeze it. And again, you want to make sure that the wire is inside the teeth, inside the metal teeth, so it makes contact with the teeth. Um, actually, tooth, I should say, with the metal tooth. And um, and it's secured in place. Uh, okay, once that's done, now we just connect up the, uh, the resistors uh, to it. Um, Again, as I mentioned, we'll be installing these in parallel. That's why one one end of the resistor goes on the yellow wire, the other end of the resistor goes on the black wire. I guess I could have actually put it in, into ground, but I just felt safer doing it this way. Um, the, uh, the other thing I mentioned was you want to make sure that the resistor does not touch anything that could catch fire. Like there's a, inside the housing, there's some styrofoam uh, for noise dampening and whatnot. So you want to make sure that the metal, uh, the resistor, which gets very hot, does not touch anything. What I ended up doing, uh, which you could also do, is I, I just put it inside the um, inside the little slot. I so it has a it has a, a metal pin which you can connect using a wire or a, or a tie wrap. But I, I just slid it inside and, and uh, kept it in place. I, I pushed the wire in and um, allowed, it, allowed it to keep it in place. You could leave it uh, hanging, but it's going to be you know dangling you know as, as the car goes back and forward and breaks. Uh, I, you know and then you stop and go. Uh, it may it may hit or break, or uh, or the wire may may come out loose. Um, again, you want to make sure that uh, your wires are nice and tight and the resistor is secure and this is how i secured it now i'm going to on and you will not see uh, any error messages left break uh break bulb out or right break bulb out um, so that's how you solve the led problem and by the way the leds are fantastic they light up fast and they light up nice and bright um, Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any questions about the bulbs or the resistors, leave a comment below. Again, uh, please, uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.